What's up guys, it's Tomir and welcome to a very very exciting Liverpool video where we will announce Liverpool's first signing of the summer of 2019 because James Pierce of the Liverpool Echo, he's well connected, he's a Liverpool based journalist, he's well connected to Liverpool FC. He's reporting that Liverpool clinched the transfer deal for a very exciting young Polish goalkeeper after beating competition from Manchester United and Juventus. So in this video we will take an in-depth look at this goalkeeper, Polish goalkeeper, who could become another legend at Liverpool potentially just like Jerzy Dudek did when he saved the penalty that won Liverpool the Champions League in 2005 on this day in 2005 May the 25th in an incredible comeback and this is another Polish goalkeeper Liverpool already have a young goal Polish goalkeeper at the club Grabara so I think this guy won't have a lot of uh, problems uh, fitting in so in this video we will take an in-depth look and also I will deliver to you guys many other brand new Liverpool news so if you enjoy these types of videos make sure to smash the like button if you are excited for Liverpool signing their first player in the summer it's not a big name but we know how much Jurgen Klopp has an eye for talent and this guy's name is very difficult to pronounce so I will I will try it it's Jakub Orzinski or Orzinski and Liverpool are closing in on a 200,000 pound deal for a highly rated young Polish goalkeeper he is only 16 years old and he will make a move from Legia Warsaw which is one of the biggest uh, Polish clubs uh, this summer after Liverpool won the race for his signature and many clubs like Manchester United, Valencia and Juventus were very interested in this guy and this Polish young Polish goalkeeper had actually a trier at Liverpool when he was given the opportunity to train with the first team squad at Melwood and Jurgen Klopp was watching that training and uh, Orzinski will start uh, at the Kirkby uh, Academy with Barry left us uh, FA Youth Cup winning under 18 squad when pre-season starts in early July and yes you, pro you guys probably know that Liverpool won the FA Youth Cup in a dramatic circumstances against I think it was Manchester City of all clubs and Orzinski is a, a, another Polish goalkeeper after Kamil Grabara is already at the club Grabara is 20 years old and he has been at Liverpool since 2016 but he was out on loan at Danish outfit Aarhus so both of them will be trying to follow in the footsteps of Jerzy Dudek uh, who as I said won Liverpool the Champions League in, in 2005 and Liverpool under 18s have been in need of extra competition because they have already a Czech goalkeeper Viteslav Jaros who enjoyed an impressive season winning the FA Youth Cup as well as I think they finished the second in the under 18's Premier League just on goal difference behind Derby County so it was a very very good season for the Liverpool under 18's and with an ankle injury which forced Jaros to miss the FA Cup semi-final tie against Watsford uh, Liverpool had to sign Fulham's uh, Ashby Hammond on an emergency loan so the Liverpool under 18's have only one goalkeeper that's why we are signing this guy so we have two goalkeepers for the Liverpool under 18's but also because Liverpool probably are rating this guy very very highly. What we know about this guy is that he was born on February 19th 2003 and he is at the moment playing for the Legia Warsaw and also he is a Poland under 16 international so yeah he has played uh, for the Poland under 15 and under 16 side so this guy is a really big talent in Poland he has been at uh, the Legia Warsaw second team and the youth teams and he played uh, 21 games for uh, the youth uh, team so we don't know an awful lot about this guy but what we know is that when Jurgen Klopp watched him in training he was very impressed with him that's why Liverpool went in and secured his signature and signing a young goalkeeper is always very exciting because if, it, uh, if the development is right and he will have the perfect facilities and the training ground and everything so he only needs to concentrate on getting better at playing football if uh, his development is right 
Liverpool could have a very very good goalkeeper for an absolute bargain because to come in for less than a million pounds it's like it's peanuts for Liverpool it's pocket change and I think it's pocket money basically for Liverpool and if, the, if this guy turns out to be a good goalkeeper then Liverpool will save a lot of money and even if he doesn't we can always sell him on a, with a big profit because when this guy turns 20, 21 years old and he could be loaned out to different clubs uh, at that time if he shines at one of their clubs then Liverpool could, could get a profit on this guy and there is a very big decision for Liverpool to make in the summer because Harry Wilson is coming back from his loan spare after the, his, after the playoff final on Monday and I wish Derby County all the best I hope they get promoted it would be a great story and many many people are saying that Harry Wilson should be given a chance in the Liverpool squad because he is good enough to play in the Premier League and I agree having watched Harry Wilson quite a lot this season he had an outstanding season and Liverpool are rate him very highly so we slapped a 25 million price lag price tag on Harry Wilson but I still even for 25 million I don't really want Liverpool to sell him because this guy could end up becoming world-class and then he will be a worth a lot more and I think Harry Wilson loves Liverpool and he, he would love to stay at Liverpool and he is Derby County's top scorer with 18 goals he even scored in the playoffs to send Derby into the playoff final and I really hope that he scores at Wembley in the playoff final because that is always a special special stadium and a special occasion and if Derby get promoted to the Premier League they will have a lot of money and they might try to buy Wilson outright but I, what I would actually do is uh, just try to get Wilson more minutes at Liverpool. Try to uh, like play him actually in the League Cup. He, he should start every game. And in the Premier League against smaller sides he would start here and there. And he should come on as a substitute here and there. And let's see where we stand with Harry Wilson in January. But if he doesn't get enough playing time, we could always loan him back to Derby County for the second half of the season. So that's what I would do. I would actually give Harry Wilson a squad place. But himself, he might want to play regularly and he might want to go back to Derby County on loan. That wouldn't be the worst option, to be honest, if I'm... If I'm really really honest with myself I would be fine with Harry Wilson going back on loan to Derby County whether it's in the Premier League or in the Championship of course him bringing in the Premier League Harry Wilson would always be more preferred because he would be tested really really well against fellow Premier League clubs and Liverpool CEO Peter Moore said that he plans to discuss the, the Champions League final ticket allocation issue with UEFA president Alexander Ceferin and he said, I mean Peter Moore, the chief executive of Liverpool, we talk to UEFA every day, we have been talking to UEFA for 40 years as you well know. But I will see the UEFA president and usually when I see Alec there are 20 things to talk about and it's all the things that you think, what we do for allocations, what we do for this, all the normal stuff, it is a long list. The good news is we are going to a Champions League final but that there is a lot of work to do to make it work and yes Liverpool fans and, and also Tottenham fans not getting enough tickets has really bothered me a lot like getting 16,000 tickets only for each club and the stadium being uh, like 60,000 plus capacity like half of the stadium won't be fans of Liverpool or Tottenham I mean uh, the tickets won't get what I don't really like is uh, like companies getting hundreds or thousands of tickets and they are just giving it away to different Instagram influencers and different uh, like YouTube celebrities who don't really love either Liverpool or Tottenham and they just want to be there to witness the Champions League final and real true Liverpool and true Tottenham fans who have been at almost every European game. They have watched their team home and away for most of the Champions League campaign and they can't get a ticket because uh, somebody else from a foreign country uh, gets a ticket because he is uh, you know on the payroll of a company or uh, he is just a, an Instagram personality with a lot of followers and I don't really I, I, that rubs me off the wrong way 
I don't think that many people, I mean it's fine that some of those guys get tickets and some of those girls get tickets but like more than half of the stadium going to corporate and company um, you know people and that's not right I don't think that is right but sadly it shows that that these UEFA events aren't really truly about the fans it's about money the sad reality today of, uh, of uh, like uh, top European football what I hope that will turn uh, into uh, a brilliant Champions League final, what I hope that will happen is some of those tickets will end up in the hands of either Liverpool or Tottenham, true fans who really want to witness history, want to witness their team playing and hopefully winning a Champions League final. So it's going to be very, very interesting and Harry Kane is back in training just like Roberto Firmino so Harry Kane has a chance of actually playing in the Champions League final so it will be very very interesting whether he can start the Champions League final or not and David Silva the Manchester City player actually admitted that winning the Champions League is actually harder than any of the three dramatic trophies that Manchester City won this season and I'm not saying it it's David Silva who is saying it who is one of the most experienced Manchester City players he said this into a, a Spanish radio station. In theory, Liverpool are the favourites after the season they have had against Tottenham, but anything can happen in the game. We have already seen that this season the Champions League has been a bit crazy. Last minute goals, great comebacks, anything can happen. The Champions League is more difficult because it's a knockout competition. If you lose concentration in one game, you can be knocked out and that's what happened to us. And I fully agree, that's what happened to Barcelona as well. Barcelona came to Anfield unbeaten in the whole Champions League campaign, if I'm not mistaken. And they lost heavily and they, they went out. They, you only need to have one bad day and you can go out of the competition. Liverpool got a little bit lucky in terms of we had more than one bad day in the competition. But most of those bad days came actually in the group stage because we lost all three away games in the group. But because we won all three games at home and because of uh, we had more goals scored than Napoli because we ended up as the, on the same goal difference and on the same points as Napoli, we went through to the knockout stages and then I think in the knockout stages we deserved to win every tie. We were better than Bayern Munich, we were better than Porto and even better than Barcelona. I, I have to say, if I look at it objectively, which I always try to do, I think in both legs we played great. In the first leg we were just very unlucky not to score. Salah hit the post, uh, we had other mistakes happen in defense. And in the home game we were miles away, the better team. We played Barcelona off the park in the second half especially. And I think Liverpool overall deserved to win the semi-final. That's, that's my opinion. But of course feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. And Daniel Sturridge said that uh, Liverpool can push on even higher next season and they can push on to be on the next level and win more trophies next season. This is what Daniel Sturridge said in an interview. To be successful you need to use the squad. Everyone has a role to play. If you look over the years at finals that have been played, there have been players who have hardly played any games that have scored goals or won tournaments for their countries or won finals for their teams. Players who aren't on the pitch who come on and make a difference as well. Maybe he is uh, like, uh, referring, it, uh, referring to himself that he could be the difference in the Champions League final and I certainly hope so. What a way it would be to bow out for Daniel Sturridge to score a goal in the Champions League final in his potentially his last game as a Liverpool player. I would love that because he would go down into Anfield legend and, and I, I, he's a really brilliant, brilliant guy, a great character and I, I love him to bits. It's a shame that he couldn't stay fit in the past couple of seasons. But Daniel Sturridge also said this, so it's important for everybody to be tuned in to everything that's needed for the team to be successful next week. It has improved a lot, but the main thing everybody wants is success and trophies. I feel we need to take the next step and push on to the next level. Winning a big trophy 
which is the biggest hurdle, allows you to win a lot more because you know how to win. That's the thing we are lacking at the moment, jumping over that last hurdle to provide this first trophy under the manager. I've been involved with fi in finals with Liverpool and Chelsea as well. With Chelsea, when we won things, it was very fine margins. And it's the same when you lose. There aren't many finals where a team completely dominates the game and overruns the other team. It's very rare you find that. It's all about those small margins and trying to overcome adversities. The other team will have a lot more to play than you sometimes and it's just about defending as a unit and when you get your chances to take them as well. It's always like that in finals and I don't think it will change. That's a great interview by Daniel Sturridge in my opinion and I, I really wish him all the best even if he makes uh, his last appearance in the Champions League final, even if he goes out uh, in his last game as a, as a Liverpool player, I really hope that he goes out with a bang and wins the Champions League trophy. What a brilliant con combination that would be uh, in, for his Liverpool career. So let me know what you think about all the things we discussed in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later, good night.